Hi, Micro Punter here. This here is a microscope camera. It's a 3.1 megapixel microscope camera. And the question that I have now is, is, is it good enough? Um, or do I need a camera with a higher resolution? So in this video, I want to help you save a little bit of money because you don't want to spend more money on a microscope camera than you need because if the resolution is uh, very, very high, maybe um, it's more than what the microscope is actually able to supply. So you're wasting money. Um, so today we're going to do a little bit of number crunch, number crunching. Please bear with me. I think it's worth it. And, and we're going, I'm going to show you a, a way how you can calculate the optimum resolution for your camera and anything that's more than that actually is a waste of, of resolution and uh, in order to do that um, I'm going to calculate uh, I'm going to show you some calculations today that you can follow along um, and in the description below I've also got some references uh, that uh, help you a little bit uh, um, if you also want to read up um, on this topic so first of all this um, in uh, this um, uh, video was inspired by an email that I got uh, today from one of my viewers and uh, he told me that uh, there is very little information available online especially uh, very little information on YouTube on uh, uh, calculating the correct uh, resolution for camera because he was kind of wondering um, if I change the magnification now on uh, the microscope uh, and I go up with the magnification and see a smaller field of view uh, but I'm getting a larger magnification is it worth it um, and uh, in this video I decided okay I'm going to um, address this a little bit and we're going to explore a little bit the um, connection between camera resolution and uh, resolution of the microscope and uh, it's going to be a slightly more detailed and involved video so I'm going to start very much at the basics. One thing that you have to understand very much um, is is that if you want to capture an image without loss of image quality then the resolution of the capturing device the camera in this case has to be at least two times than the resolution supplied by the microscope. This is so called the Nyquist criterion um, and uh, there's a mathematical reason for that um, it's not only for microscopes but it applies any times even if you scan a picture for example um, or if you record an audio um, then the sampling rate has to be at least twice as high than the highest frequency and sound that you want to capture so there is a mathematical rule behind that and it also applies uh, um, to microscopes um, however if the microscope uh, camera resolution is way too high then you end up wasting a lot of pixels that you don't need and a lot of uh, you know, storage space maybe. And as a matter of fact, a camera resolution that is too high can actually have a disadvantage because uh, too many pixels on a small sensor can result in very poor, um, poor light performance. Uh, the noise is much higher. The signal to noise ratio is lower. So as a matter of fact, there is even a drawback of having cameras with a small sensor and too many megapixels. And what I'm going to do now is, is I'm going to step you through a couple of calculations now using my microscope combination here and then you can do the following you can plug in your own numbers for your own microscope so and in order to do that I've actually prepared a little a board and I'm going to move my microscope to the side now because I need this space and I'm going to show you now this board here and don't be scared there are lots of formulas on here but I'll step you through the calculation okay so here it is I have to hold this up a little bit here we're gonna start here um, on, the, on the left side um, and here first of all we have to determine the microscope resolution and then later on we are going to determine the required pixel size of the camera but we will take it step by step so what I have is the following here I will uh, calc do the calculations for a microscope objective uh, which has a magnification of 10 times it's one of my microscope objectives there and on the microscope objective there is a numerical aperture and in this case it's a 0.25 you simply read it off uh, the objective and this one this uh, value is extremely important because it determines the, uh, the image resolution and Something else that you need is you need the wavelength of light that you want to use. In this case, I'm using an average wavelength of, let's say, um, 550 nanometers, and I'm converting this to micrometers because all of our calculations will be done in micrometers. 
okay so this is just uh, an estimate um, here so and what we're going to do now is we're going to plug it into this formula following formula Abe's formula Abe's favor a famous formula now already made a separate video on this already um, so the resolution is lambda the wavelength uh, divided by two times the numerical aperture and you plug in the value 0 0.55 micrometers uh, divided two times 0 0.25 okay two times this here um, and this one is the 550 nanometers up here and you get um, a resolution of 1.1 micrometers so my objective is able to resolve 1.1 micrometers that's approximately the size of bacteria okay so and now I'm going to calculate the required pixel size of the camera I'm gonna move over here to the other side here okay and then later in the back I continue and we're going to combine both of them so the required pixel size of the camera I'll maybe put this up here a little bit here okay um, is now determined by this following formula here D that is uh, the resolution it's this value over here M O that's the magnification of the objective we know that that's easy that's the 10 times and M A that is the magnification of the adapter and you have to check your adapter what the value is usually it's printed on it um, and this has to also go in here and then we're going to divide everything by two why, why, why do we do this why do we divide everything by two because it's a Nyquist criterion okay so the required pixel size has to be half the size than what the pixels are um, supplied by the microscope and when you do all of this then um, I get uh, the required pixel size uh, is should be 13.75 micrometers okay so that is uh, basically what I'm uh, what I need and this is basically what I'm, I'm given supplied by the microscope over here and now I need to kind of combine both of them and this is going to be our step three okay so I've, I turn this around okay Unfortunately, I wiped off a little a little word here, okay? And uh, I'm going to now use this here. It's supposed to be needed. I wiped off the end down here. Doesn't matter. Oop. Okay, I'm gonna switch over again here. So, and I'm gonna check the camera now. For the camera, um, I have a Canon EOS 60D, and then if you go into Wikipedia or if you read the user's manual, you can all get all of the specifications. Um, it's an 18 megapixel camera. That is the yeah, the number of pixels that I have and it's an APS-C sensor and these are that's the size of the sensor and that's really important okay so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna convert these millimeters also into micrometers okay that's down here okay and uh, we're going to divide uh, the first the horizontal resolution we're gonna determine we're gonna divide the horizontal one this one here okay we're gonna divide this by the 13.75 that we determined uh, just uh, on the other side okay that's the, the required pixel size and I get over here 1622 pixels that's what I need and over here for the vertical I get 1084 pixels that's what I need how much does the camera have way more way more okay so I need 1.7 megapixels that's supposed to be the end that I erased okay um, I need it and I have 18 megapixels so this means that my camera my my uh, DSLR camera uh, outperforms has way more uh, higher resolution than what I uh, what I need here okay um, so um, yeah it's absolutely not to worry about this and what I've done now is I've uh, now done the same calculations also for my other objectives not only that I've also um, done the same calculation uh, for this little camera here um, as well and uh, there's something quite interesting here so again I've got another whiteboard here this one is a little bit smaller um, and uh, here I've got the the objectives and here that's uh, for the DSLR camera Camera, the Canon EOS and this is now the eyepiece camera okay EP stands for eyepiece and what you can see is, is the higher you go up with the, the magnification um, the less megapixels you need okay um, and for the eyepiece camera it goes from 4.3 megapixels at four, four times objective all the way down to 1.1 megapixels okay so what does this mean this means that uh, my DSLR way outperforms um, to the what the microscope is able to deliver but here the eyepiece camera this is a 3.1 megapixel camera so this means that this camera here actually is not able to catch the image resolution of those two objectives okay and it works fine for those down here okay that's uh, less uh, than 
uh, what my camera has and this one is, is what it would require more okay so this uh, actually shows that uh, it was a good idea to actually uh, we have replaced this camera here with uh, my DSLR because actually this camera is not able to capture the full image resolution of the microscope at least for those two um, objectives here okay so uh, basically that that that's that's kind of it uh, today what I wanted to to show you it's uh, simply uh, to illustrate to you that it uh, occasionally does uh, pay um, a little bit to have a closer look um, at the um, yeah, at your camera there is however a slight problem sometimes and, and that is is that you don't always have the full details uh, of uh, the um, yeah of the microscope cameras for example over here um, I suppose it's a 0 0.5 times um, uh, reduction optics here but uh, it's not printed on here so um, yeah um, and also the sensor size I had to get uh, um, from uh, the website um, of the manufacturer okay so that is a little bit uh, the thing that I simply wanted to clarify uh, with uh, you uh, today and uh, I think uh, for right now that's enough um, and I hope that was nevertheless informative even though if it was a little bit theoretical today. Wish you all the best. Happy microbe hunting as always and uh, see you around next time. Bye-bye.